grab the item, and then, yeah, also die. Obviously, you can just clear them slowly if you feel able to, and then grab the chest at your leisure. But in any case, that is your very first somber ancient dragon at Smithstone, which is incredibly cool to have. Now then, let's move on to the second somber ancient dragon smithstone that you can grab. This is also a quest line, and warning, it's a very easily missable quest line. It's also a bit much, kind of a lot later game than the first one, but still, as I say, technically the earliest, at least, that we're aware of. So, step one is head to the village of the Albanurix, or the Nicknacks, as I like to call them. You get there from just riding out into the water above it and heading towards the mountain, and it's just a huge cave hollowed out that you will run in, run up the slope, get your first grace, and you're here. Pretty simple stuff. From that grace, if you just head up the slope on your right, there will be a very large small pot. Slap the pot and feel a very scared, shy old man. The boss we're going to do is take the first by possession, because at this point, it's a bit of a choice anyway. Talking through, the reason what he says, he wants you to give this half of the medallion to Lynetta, and, well, we're gonna go just do that. So where is Lynetta? Also in the lakes, located at the slumbering wolf shack. You get here by going through the lakeside crystal caves. Just again, run up to them, fight your way through, and you will exit on the other side and make your way down the cliffside to get here. You will find uh, Lynetta and her wolf having, well, you guessed it, a slumber. Talk to her, and she will express that, oh, wow, the guy trusted you with the medallion, I guess I will trust you too. Hey, how about I die and become spirit ashes, and you take me with you to the mountaintop of the giants? That sounds cool, and you tell her that does indeed sound cool. Now, it's at this point I must apologize for not actually having footage of this happening, and also give a warning. The reason I don't have footage of this happening is because I completely missed this, and it was too late for me to actually make it happen. She already died and just left her ashes behind. Getting her ashes in this way ruins the quest line and cancels the ending and the reward. So, yeah, the warning is please do up to this step, getting the half medallion and going to talk to her and getting her to willingly become spirit ashes for you before you enter the mountaintop of the giants for the first time. Do it before then, or you will forever lose this quest line, the reward, and thus the somber plus 10 Dragon Smith Stone. So once you have achieved those steps, well, very much later in the game, you will reach the mountain of the giants. That's just a case of learning out the capital, story, it's just the next way to get sent to. Once there, then, make your way over to Fort Sword. This is where the Oh, and by the way, watch out for the massive giant uh, mausoleum with its turret bombardment that it feels like it needs to do around the area because it's brutal. But once you get in there, you'll see there is quite the uh, giant uh, slumped against the wall. If you walk up to her and you've done it correctly, there will be an option to summon Lynetta and then she'll have a chat. The reward then for this moment for bringing her here, for summoning her here and have a chat with him. <laughs> First, to an almighty. Today, I want to share with you the locust on the running and legwork quest line. <laughs> A quick rundown. Either talk to the guy or the Church of the Rose, follow him to the Church of the Rose in Leonia and have a chat.
for steps in Limgrave. He will then go to the Church of the Rose. Follow him to the Church of the Rose in... There you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? Aha. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A me give it a try. And if it I have high hopes for you, my lambkin. Be sure to there's no reason to tarnish. Be sure I'm quite certain. Leonia and have a chat with him. Agree positively with everything he says every time, he'll give you three blooded fingers. You then use those blooded fingers to go do three invasions. Kill them, get ganked, disconnect, doesn't matter, three invasions. Go.